Hey, what up, SJ Poor? How about some coffee? Dog bite coffee. Check this out, too. Not that. It's a tiny, tiny Mickey's. <laughs> Hulk like malt liquor. Ch charming. I'm charmed by that tiny 16 ounce of Mickey's. I've never seen one of those in real life. Uh, well, SJ Poor, uh, let's have some coffee. And uh, let's talk about martial arts. Hold on a second. Bone cracking. Cheers. Ah, dog bite. So, uh, SJ Poor, you did your dog bite uh, video. And I was reminded of an experience uh, that I had in martial arts, which then reminded me of an experience that might be the culmination of how goofy I could be combined with uh, a high level of skill. Um, <clears throat> so let, let's start from the beginning though. So I got involved in martial arts. I took Taekwondo uh, for about seven years and I actually opened up my own school uh, for uh, about a year and a half. Um, so I was into it, you know, and uh, I learned this lesson. Uh, one of my instructors was a, a state policeman. He, did, he trained state policemen. And uh, it's just not going to drink itself. Mm. So when you were drinking the dog bite, and the, bite, the dog was getting on top of you, it reminded me of what this guy said to me, um, Mr. Humphreys. He, he grabbed a piece of wood, and he said, uh, oh, I almost said my, uh, my last name. I said, no, I guess, I don't know, I don't guess the dock dropping myself is no big deal, but um, he said, uh, Mr. Earl, essentially, um, hold out your knuckles. So I held out my knuckles, and he took a, a, a broken piece of wood, put it against my knuckles, and he pushed on it, and uh, it hurt. And he's like, uh, he's like, he's like, really pay attention to the pain level. Uh, where does it hurt? How much does it hurt? Um, you know, try to rate it in your mind. I'm like, okay. And it was painful. And he's like, okay. Um, he's like, now uh, hold up. You know, he holds up the wood again. He's like, now take that, the hand that, you know, I just didn't, you know, this hand hurts. Take the hand, it doesn't hurt. And now I want you to push on the board until you reach that same level of pain. And I was like, and pushing it back, and he was leaning into it. And I was like, and I'm like, like, well, you know, it, it hurts. Like, but I, I couldn't reach that same level of pain with my left. And I thought, that's weird. What's up with that? And he's like, it's like, it's the difference between um, having something being done to you and doing something. Uh, for instance, like when you do uh, knuckle push-ups, um, it's not excruciating or you'd stop. But if, you know, if you put 200 pounds of uh, hard weight and let it smash my hands... I weigh like 200 pounds. Um, it hurt, but so, so when you were drinking your dog bite, I was thinking you needed you needed to have that intention. You need to drink this beer like a boss. Let it know that it's going down and it's going to taste good. <laughs> yeah, dog bite. You could try to taste bad, but I'm not going to let you like that. So, uh, other martial arts stories. Oh, once, uh, there's sometimes you have to do, uh, you have to go in front of judging panels. It tends to be like the big things. Um, like someone's going for a high level black belt. And, uh, some people come from out of state. Like they're like, no one's passing level, uh, you know, third degree black belt or something. No one's going to get a third degree black belt that I don't see. So, like, they, they do it once a year. Um, and uh, so uh, Grandmaster Seraph uh, would come out and, uh, and sit down and watch us. And uh, there's these demonstrations. It's basically you just display a little bit of everything, uh, everything that you know, and you throw it together in a, uh, a group fighting scenario so that you could display multiple techniques, kicks at opposite different targets, things like that. So 
I was helping a guy, and uh, I, uh, so I, I was basically an attacker. I was a thug. And uh, he, uh, so you're, you don't get hurt though, right? But he, I made it look like I got injured to such a degree that uh, the entire board wanted to stop the, 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 the demonstration and see how badly I was injured. I was acting, of course. And uh, I don't know, it was, it was kind of like a finest moment. It's like, if, if you can make experts, people who are real experts at martial arts, um, if you could fool them, um, I don't know, I just, I just felt like I'd got a career in, uh, in uh, maybe a Jackie Chan extra or something. So that's not like really like me breaking like, you know, a ton of flaming bricks or something like that. It's like just, uh, I mean, that was some of the, my best moments in martial arts had really very little to do with uh, my accomplishments. <clears throat> Though I was pretty serious about it. I traveled um, all around the West um, doing competitions. Um, and I did really well. Um, I, uh, I mean, I was into yoga and I was a bike messenger, so I was exercising for like nine, ten hours a day. Um, I, I never tired out. Um, I could jump really high. Um, yes, it was a blast. I loved it. I mean, that was, I mean, that was, I was watching uh, a couple different people doing like weight loss uh, things on their channels, and it's like all you gotta do is find something like you know, say Taekwondo or just something that just makes you like you can't get enough of it, and uh, yeah, you'll lose weight you know right quick. Because um, I was training every day of the week, so. I was pretty excited about it. Um, oh, for uh, my testing, I got I got to uh, my second degree, uh, black belt, and uh, my testing I thought went really really well. And uh, but you know I did some cool things. Uh, some things were asked of me, and I was able to pull them off. And then right when I came off, I was just kind of like I was kind of like feeling like on top of the world kind of thing, and uh, sunlight streaming down upon me and. Uh, this one uh, martial artist, uh, this, uh, this wonderful woman, uh, I really appreciated her a lot, uh, came running up to me and gave me a kiss on the cheek, uh, which was a first and a last in uh, my entire uh, uh, career as a martial artist. No one had ever kissed me uh, in uh, the martial arts setting. And uh, you could have knocked me down with a feather. It was, it was awesome. I loved it a lot. Dog bite. What else before I get to the big one that I remembered? Uh, someone tried to attack me in the street once. And uh, they rushed me. And uh, I, I knocked them back. And then they rushed me again and they reached for my throat. Um, and uh, I was so alarmed that some, someone might try to press on my throat. Uh, that I kicked him so hard, it was a, a, pu a side push kick, um, and I, I could, I could, I could push. I used to uh, swing uh, big heavy bags uh, from uh, trees in my backyard, so they're, they're hanging from like ten feet of, of rope, and I'd get it swinging. And uh, you know how heavy heavy bags are. This one was sand in it too. Um, I used to be able to, as it would swing to me, I used to be able to check it and lift it. And uh, it would knock me back at the same time, uh, but I'd land on my feet as well. Because we had one one guy that I used to fight a lot. Um, he was closer to 300 pounds, and he was a fencer, and he could he could lunge forward like lightning. And so this was my idea: was I was going to practice catching him on my foot and shooting him out. Because if you could shoot someone out of the ring, uh, you could disqualify them. Uh, so that's but this guy weighed like. He weighed like 110, maybe. This, this maniacal, crazy guy on the street. Um, and so uh, when I got freaked out and I went to kick him as hard as I normally kick, you know, a 300-pound guy or, or my swinging heavy bag, um, I, I lifted him completely off his feet, threw him uh, across the uh, sidewalk. He landed. He uh, How did his feet go? His feet swung up, so his feet were above his head. And so when he hit the car, 
uh, he was face down. I mean, he was facing the street, and his feet were above him. So he kind of like flung like this. He like flung like this, and then he slid straight down. As he slid down, his arms went in between the car and the uh, the curb, and his arms got wedged underneath the car and the the water uh, along the street. It was deep, like there was a big puddle there, and so he started just thrashing. Like water was uh, like. I was the one that dragged him out of the water because I thought he was drowning. And then he promptly tried to attack me again. Um, and so I, I'd, I had to stomp him pretty flat. It was like he was wound up on something. I don't know. Um, and then he ran off before the cops could come. <clears throat> but... Uh, I'll, I'll tell the main story. The one I, I can't believe I forgot this, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll finish this dog bite like a boss. Um, so I was I went to Greece, and uh, I was uh, I was walking along uh, some bay or something like that off uh, I can't remember where it was, um, southern Greece somewhere, and. Uh, I was looking, uh, there was like a, a railing off to my left, and then there was a bench to my right, and I, my back was kind of to the bench, and I was looking over the railing when uh, someone grabbed a hold of me, like, like grabbed a hold of my clothing, didn't, like, didn't grab my shoulder, but got a grip on my clothes. And we used to practice that stuff all the time, and, uh, and started to rotate me. And uh, I didn't think twice about it. I immediately, like... Uh, did like a, a fake spin, like you start to go with it, then you come around, go underneath their arm, uh, grab their hand, lock it out, and as I'm coming underneath their arm, oh, and I touch this side, I remember feeling nothing but muscle on the side of whoever just grabbed me. So I got a hand on the side, I'm ripping his other hand off and getting a control on it, and as I'm looking down, I see his shoes, and I see three other pairs of shoes. So there's four guys about ready to, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I think something bad, or I wouldn't. Re I wouldn't have reacted like that. So here's what I do. So I don't even see with these guys. All I think of is that uh, I probably can't fight four guys, but I could probably fight three. Uh, so the guy I've got a hold of right now, uh, he's in for a shock. And uh, so I push with one arm and throw him towards his friends. As I m move bench railing, I move here. So now it's bench railing, the guys there, and me with their friend's body in between us. And uh, as I shove him forward, the outside guy jumps towards the other two guy. And right as I yank this guy back, I torque out his arm, whip him down. And right as I'm whipping him down, I'm like, this is like, Right as I'm really starting to be able to see the people that uh, that I'm dealing with, and uh, they're sailors, they're wearing uniforms, and then I think uh, that I, I I rethink my uh, how many people I could fight because <laughs> I don't I don't think I could fight three sailors, especially the first one I grabbed. Feels like he's made of muscle, and so I, I got this guy locked out. I'm trying to think what should I do now. And everyone's just like, the three guys are like, um, really tall, um, athletic looking uh, guys. Uh, and I don't recognize the sailor outfits anyway. And uh, suddenly the guy I've got locked down, he's just staring at the ground. He says something. And it sounds, it sounds Russian. And uh, he says something just kind of con in a conversational voice as I've got him totally just cranked down into the ground. And his friends burst out laughing. And I'm like, what's going on? And they didn't speak English. Uh, I said, what's going on? And uh, the guy with that I've got bent down uh, lifts up his free arm, and in his free arm is a camera. He wanted me to take their picture. I had really worked out on his arm, too. I, f 
felt really bad. <laughs> so I'm like, I start to let him up, half let him up to get a look at his face. And I'm like, are we good? Are we good? And he's talking. I'm like, I can't tell if we're good or not, but I, I think I'm in the wrong. So I just take a risk and let him go and move him towards his friends. And his friends are like saying something, pointing at the guy, pointing at the guy. And so he hands the camera to one of his friends and he starts coming towards me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, what's going on? He's like, he's like, he's like, whoa, 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 like that. And he's like, I still couldn't understand him. And he points to one of his friends and his friend does this. And I'm like, okay, he wants to take our photo now. And so I, I kind of like, okay. And uh, the guy that walks towards me, he holds out his arm like that. And I'm like, what? And he's like, so what they wanted me to do, they wanted me to get him back in an arm control move. And they want to take a photo of me doing it to him. It's just outrageously funny. It was delicious because I said so. Dog bite. You taste good. You taste good to me. That's right. <clears throat> now I'm going to go upstairs and uh, drink this petite little Mickey's. All right, SJ, thanks for having coffee with me. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see you in the tubes. I enjoyed uh, seeing you on Uvu way back in the day when I was on Uvu, too. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but... I'll see you, and um, when I see you, it'll be in the tubes. <laughs>